Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. Okay, Sean, for this one, looks like we're headed out to beautiful Harriman, right? Yep, so this one is located in the Cove at Harriman Springs in the southwest corner of Salt Lake County. Look at those beautiful views. Harriman has been exploding lately because they've been finishing up all those freeways, so the access out to the west area has been just expanding, and that means that they're going to have a ton of appreciation out in this area, and it's accessible, really easily accessible. Very accessible compared to what it used to be, yep. Yeah, and it looks like an amazing house, and uh, obviously the location looks like a really nice, quiet street yeah views out every window on a quiet street yeah and this is one of the nice things about Harriman the altitudes a little higher you literally look over the whole valley and one of the things I noticed about this house is they've got a lot of decks right a lot of decks so we've got two large decks off the back of the house but we've also got another one off the master bedroom yeah in a beautiful kitchen looks like they they didn't spare a lot of expense in this one exactly and there's not only one but there's two nice kitchens so one up here with the main level master so you can be in this house forever but there's also a full kitchen in the basement as well so yeah very nice and lots of windows which is always desirable and uh, harriman oh take a look at there there you go you're looking out at those views and you can views. look at look at the valley how it's a little bit lower right yep yep so we're up nice and high up there so um, views out every window. Yeah, and when, as you notice here, you got a little flex room as you come in. The, they, they're using it in an office, which is perfect for that, you know, and looks like they got quite a few bedrooms. And so are these on the main floor? Are these upstairs or what so are we looking at? So these ones we've seen, these are all on the main level. There is three bedrooms up and three bedrooms down with the master on the main. Oh, master on the main is such a, a nice thing because that that's a house that somebody can live in theoretically forever, right? Forever, yep. Yeah, yep. and and if you can get those masters, that always look at these big homes and you know look at the size of the master. There the it is, right there. Huge. Yeah, and it looks like that's where it goes right out to the deck, right? Yep, that door will lead you right out to a nice covered deck. It's got speakers out there, so you can control the music from your phone. Yeah, and it looks like they got a little reading room off the side and a big, huge master bath. Huge master bathroom, walk-in closet, big corner jetted tub. Yeah, very nice colors, very nice and clean. Looks like they've, somebody's really loved this property. They've put a lot into this. Yeah. So I guess their plan was to stay here forever. Yeah, this was their dream home. They actually customized it, built it, drew the plans, everything, and um, work has taken them out of state. So somebody else gets their dream home and it, it's gorgeous. They'll love, everyone will love everything about this home. No, no expense was spared when this was being built. Yeah, and I noticed they had that nice bonus room above the garage, which is so nice when you add that in. And yep. looking at the lower level, one of the things you can't help but notice, there's a lot of light down here. A lot of lights, no window wells, so everything's above grade, which makes it super nice. But even in the evenings, this home features over 100 LED can lights. Ah, uh, so it's efficient. A ton of lights in under the cabinet lighting. Um, full kitchens upstairs and down with cabinet lighting on both of those kitchens. Yeah, and this is nice. You've got your lower area where the kids can come and play. You can watch movies and stuff, but you're really not bothering anybody on the other levels, which is very well thought out. Yeah, this house is an entertainer, entertainer's dream. It's huge, just shy of 6,600 square feet, and, and you feel it when you walk in there. Yeah, it's it's a big map and such, such really nice style, and it flows really well, which I like. Yeah, and the colors are just, they're, you know, they're beautiful as well. So you walk in this home, you're just going to fall in love with it for yeah, sure. Yeah, nice and neutral, which is really, but I can't help but notice each one. There aren't any window wells at all, are there? Nope. So this is a basement right here, and it's about eight feet off the ground. Yeah. Which is the way it sits up there in those lots. So this must have been a lot premium because it's looking on the back of the houses, looking over the whole valley, and it looks like they've got a lot of electronics involved in it too. In there. Yep, two furnaces, two air conditioners. And this garage right here, Jay, two, two car garage, um, epoxy floor. It's Three car that, garage. Uh, yeah, well, it's two two car garage doors. Oh, it so, is. Yeah, so it's Interesting. actually technically like four, four and a half car garage. Um, two RV pads, one you access from the back of the house or the back of the property, and then one right next to the garages. Um, and this is the deck right here that's off the master bedroom. 
So take a look at this space. Tell me about this. So this is this is actually pretty cool built-in storage under the house. So instead of having to have a shed that you have to do all the maintenance on, this is just built in. You hide all your, your work tools, your lawn mowers, get that out of sight. But Jay, look at those views. Yeah, amazing. And I can't help but notice there's two places to have RVs on the property. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's so nice. So off the back of the property, you can access in or off the side, and they got their own little running stream through this. Running streams, yeah. But yeah, back to the RV. Yep, they both have RV gates, so you can pull in RVs on both sides. That lower one has a basketball court for the kids, in in ground trampoline. Just yeah. beautiful. And so nobody's going to uh, build below them, too, because it's all finished out. Yep, exactly. And off to the west there as well, you'll never have a new one. And so this is taking a look at some of the amenities, right? Yep, so this is, a, this is a fun one out here. This is the clubhouse that you can rent, and it has a swimming pool. Um, so all the Cove residents can access this. Yeah, they've, they've built a, quite a nice little community out there. And here's your little fishing pond, right? We've got a fishing pond right at the mouth of the neighborhood, yep. And it's fun to see all the people out there utilizing that as well. All right, Jay, for this one, we're headed out to Midvale. Yeah, Midvale's an interesting location in the valley. It's been kind of underdeveloped, but all of a sudden, all this expansion that's going on, Midvale's getting squeezed because the location is so good, and they and so the city's now really developing. People are buying these older houses, really starting to fix them up. And this house is a great example of what you were talking about, Jay. Right in the middle of Midvale, great opportunity for a new family. Yeah, and the best part about this, when you really look at this, this is a single family home in that mid 200 range, which is unheard of because normally just this land alone is worth probably about that much money. And so you're getting into, and then I, another nice thing, which is you can't skip over, is the loan programs. They've got loan programs out there. You can buy a house like this with zero money down. So instead of renting, you don't even have to have some amazing credit score. You can come in and buy a property like zero money down and become and come in and make some changes to make it your own, right? Yeah, I mean, with not with little or no money down, you could come in and you could get this house for less money that you would spend on rent. And you have the opportunity, this is a single family home. You're not looking at a townhome, you're not looking at a condo, so that means you're not gonna be paying an HOA. You're not gonna be putting that money towards an HOA every month. You're gonna actually be able to put it towards your principal and invest in yourself. Yeah, because this payment will only be about fifteen hundred dollars a month, and this is this is what's so great is usually investors come and buy these properties, they fix them up and sell them for a profit. But this is an opportunity for you to become your own investor, right? This is the best way to do it. You be your, your own investor in your own real estate. You have the chance to come in, make this a home for your family, and then see the appreciation in it. And whatever you put into it, you're going to see come out of it in not too long because this area, there's not much room for growth here. This is your opportunity to get into a house and make money off of your purchase that you're able to live in over a short period of time. Yeah, because we're, we're the problem we have is scarcity. We don't have a lot of land available. So these areas that are real nice in the central part of the valley, because the way the mountains sit on our, our east and west side, we can't go those directions. And so we get really pressed in, so we see a lot of appreciation. So locations like this that, are, that have really good freeway access and they're really close to downtown, they, they get a lot of appreciation. So, and always better to buy a single family home versus a condo or a townhouse because those are always the last ones to appreciate and the first ones to depreciate. Single family homes always do well. They're unique in a nice location like this. It's got some, and this is kind of a charming little home. It really is. It has two bedrooms. It has a full bath upstairs. It has a half bath in the basement. You have an opportunity to have a yard for kids or a dog, whatever it is that you're looking for. But having a yard is something you're not going to have with a townhome or a condo either. Yeah, dynamite little property. In that mid $200,000 range, this is a really good option. Long before I was an actor, I was an Army Ranger for the United States Army. So the VA loan is near and dear to my heart. It's a complex loan and a difficult process. And so I've partnered up with Real Estate Essentials and we started a program called the VA Home Alliance. It will include a zero down payment loan, a free inspection, a free appraisal, and for a thank you for your service, they will pay your first house payment. Not only does this make the process easy, but it also offers a lot of benefits. So if you have any more questions, please check out the website.
So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. Okay, Becky, for this one, we're headed out in beautiful Draper, right? Right. Uh, this house is in Steeplechase, which is a really nice homeowners association um, that offers a pool, a clubhouse, really wonderful amenities. And this particular property is within walking distance to the pool and the park. Yeah, and so nice. As we're headed up to the front here, you can see it's, it's very stately from the front. I just love the way they have that garage and you're in around the back there yeah. and that big, huge door as we walk in. Yeah, and the stone is just really timeless. Um, and then as you walk into the house, um, you can just see that the house is really, a, it's, it's timeless with the hardwood floors and the big rooms and the yeah. exposed beams. The beams are absolutely beautiful and they span out really. I mean, this, the front room is just absolutely massive. Yeah, it's huge. These vaulted ceilings are um, about as high as you could get, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as we're headed into the kitchen, a real designer kitchen. It is, it's a wonderfully set up. Um, you've got the prep sink in the island. The appliances are wolf, so there's a really nice double oven that are wolf. We've got the wolf range. Um, and this homeowner went all out. He added an espresso maker that's built in. It's a built-in ice machine. There's built-in wine fridge. Um, and as you can see, the cabinetry is just really beautiful. It's really well done, um, gorgeous craftsmanship. Yeah, they did a really nice job of tying that same kind of wood into these beams. So it kind of brings that whole room all together. It does. And then you've got the floor as well, where you've got the nice wood inlay on the floor in that kitchen as well. So you can kind of separate the dining area from the rest of the great room. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, so I noticed right off the front entry, they've got that private office. Yes, and it's also got the great vaulted ceilings in that room as well and huge uh, built-ins in, in that room as well yeah. so and I love the glass doors so that you can shut the door but still have an idea of what's going on yeah. when you're home and you know might have people over or kids running around very nice now headed down the down the hallway we can see the master bedroom a big huge master on the main which is never goes out of style right? no uh, it's such a nice feature and it's huge so the master is big but the master closet is really decked out as well so really nice closet organizers in there and the bathroom is just gorgeous um of course it's got the double sinks the dual vanities and separate tub and shower it's got a nice bench in the shower um, and separate water closet as well yeah very nice and another bedroom right off of that right yes and the great thing about that bedroom too is that it is a suite as well so it's got the attached bathroom now there is another half bath on this level and there's also the laundry on this level. So. Yeah, which is uh, just the way you want it. Yeah, and a great mudroom with lockers and drawers that close so you don't have to look at all your junk. Yeah, now headed downstairs, we can see this is a big open space for lots of entertaining. They got the bar and it's a walkout as well. Oh yeah, it's huge. And the ceilings in that space are 12 foot high. Uh, it's got a massive fireplace down there. The bar is my absolute favorite. It's just so well done. Big massive space. Yeah, one of the other bedrooms that's down there is also a suite. Yeah. The other two bedrooms have nice walk-in closets. There's a three-quarter bath on that level. And the storage spaces down there are really awesome as well with all built-in shelving. You know, one of the things I noticed is that we are coming in, that, that garage is just absolutely massive, right? Yeah, the garage is huge. It's extra high on the one side. And then we can't leave out the landscape in the backyard because that's really what pulls this property all together, right? Absolutely. So there's a deck and a patio that are both covered and nice wide spaces so you can put a good sized table out there and really do great entertaining in yeah. that space. And then there is a hot tub, of course, and a gorgeous water feature. Um, so it's got a nice pond and so you can sit on the deck and patio, look at the gorgeous mountain views because you are really close to the mountain um, and just enjoy the quiet and you know sit out there on the deck and, or sit in the hot tub and watch the sun go up. Okay, 
for Morris for this one. We were headed up into the upper hills of Bountiful and take a look at this beautiful home. Wow. Just an absolute masterpiece. You're looking right now at about $900,000 worth of landscaping and pool. And as you can see, just at those aerial views, this place is absolutely fabulous. It is beautiful. The landscaper on this one did an amazing job. As you're, as you're looking through the landscaping, there are things that come into season for every time. So it actually, the, it evolves through the year. So, except during the winter, of course, it's cold. And when it's cold, take a look at the roof line up there. They've got three different ways on the roof to melt the roof. And then it's also got a heated driveway. Those are so nice. So, But those are really expensive items. They are. But the person that originally owned this home didn't spare any expense when they built this out. It didn't matter what it cost. They were going to do it and they were going to do it right. And you can tell by when you walk into the front entry of this house, big, huge vaulted ceilings on the main floor and just darling colors, right? Very impressive. Very impressive home. When I walk in here, I am, I'm inspired. I love to be inspired. Take a look at this. This is Venetian plaster. That ceiling is all hand painted to perfection. That and is incredible. The views, if we're looking out those views, those look out over the valley like you were flying in on an airplane and there's unobstructed, just absolutely beautiful. Walking into the kitchen, again, it's just more just uh, perfection as you can see all the colors and styles just roll together and, and this the, the decorations that they put in here are just darling I love this property when I saw it I was like we got to we got to yeah. talk about this yeah and this kitchen makes you want to stay in the kitchen it does it's some beautiful views out take a look at their appliances you got the three stoves but there's that view now look at the view because you're looking across at another mountain on the other side but you're kind of in a goalie or in a valley probably when well, you're in a valley you're up on the mountains but it's kind of a bluff on the other side and you're looking at these beautiful homes the houses run up here they got to be from a million up to about 10 million up in this area so you're looking out at some spectacular homes your home fits in perfect because there's nobody looks at this one and wonders one of the most amazing views in this area it, it really is and it's hard to get it as we walk into the study right off there these are suede walls right here and all those built-ins are gonna stay with the home that's it, an eye for detail right there God, just amazing I can't say enough it's it's got the uh, the double stairs coming upstairs as you can see it comes in from both sides again they take advantage of the reviews up there which you got to have and the master bedroom of course it's on the best part of the whole house which is the upper level on kind of that west side that looks over the whole valley and they were able to put the windows in just places that you could still you can be looking outside your That's incredible I, it, it, I'm telling you this what if the price we're talking this is really a value because you had to replace this home you can't even, if you just did the upgrades on this house, you can't replace it. And so you get the incredible lot, you get all the pool. Wait till you see the pool and the downstairs. I mean, it is a standout. Nice. I, you know, it, you know, I love real estate, right? Yeah. But, I, you know, it's very few times that I come into a property, I'm just taken back and like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is the second master that's on the, this house actually has five bedrooms. Three of them I would consider masters because they're en suite and they're really large in size. This one right here is also upstairs, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't so much consider this a, a, like a master. It's a good size, really beautiful room, but it has three clear like masters. You walk in and just, oh, that would be a master bedroom. Yeah. Which is really nice. As we go down to the lower level, you're going to see it's a standout, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. That's so cool. Again, these are leather walls and you can't really pick it out. One of the nice things about this product is you're looking through it. It's all electronically controlled. So everything is from your smartphone and there's also some iPads in the, in the house. So you can control all the electronics, all the lighting, all the sound, everything that goes on the whole house. The gym is just absolutely beautiful right there. Yeah. And again, entertaining. Everything in this house is about entertaining and bringing people in, enjoyance and styles and, and colors. This is that third master I was talking about. What, but one of the standouts on the property, we're only looking for a second, is the home theater. They got about $250,000 into this home theater. They got rumblers in the seat, 15 inch subwoofers in there, in the electronics. Absolutely amazing. Incredible, yeah. But 
the standout, the standout about this whole property is really when we walk out into the backyard because you get this pool. Oh, that is so nice. In the pool, when it was designed, they said, I don't care what it costs. I want the nicest pool that you can put in the ground. And right now the wind was blowing, so you couldn't look down into it, but it's got this beautiful tapestry on the bottom of the pool, which is so nice. It's got the hot tub that sits on the side and you really can take in the beauty of that view. It's such a great view for an evening in the hot tub. Look at this, and you're looking across, talk about it, you're having a house party over there on the far, or a pool party out there, and all your guests are hanging. I mean, this looks like a hotel right here. It does. It really does, and they didn't spare any expense. Take a look at this, they've got a place where you can go change, they've got lockers on the left-hand side, they've got all the appliances out there, and if we, they've got a little place for a fire pit, and they've got uh, right behind here, which we're only gonna see from the top from for very, just a quick second, they've got all this beautiful stuff for um, for growing, all these growing stuff right on the bottom right there. And there it is. Look at the houses off in the view, these beautiful houses. There's nothing better than installing a cozy new fireplace in your home, but the question is who's gonna design it and who's gonna install it? Head on down to our friends at Uenta Fireplace and Design where you can browse their huge selection. They'll help you design the perfect fireplace and they'll even install it for you. So when you think about a fireplace, head on down to Uenta Fireplace and Design. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Yeah, Jay, this uh, great new listing we got over in Francis, actually, it's at 795 Oak. Uh, it's a 3,800 square foot Rambler on a half acre. Yeah, beautiful. Let's, let's talk a little bit of where Francis is in case people don't know where that is. Yeah, Jay, that's actually in the Camas Valley on the north end of Camas Valley. It's just a little bit of a suburb of Camas, basically. Yeah, beautiful area, obviously, and looks like they've got a brand new home. I mean, this looks brand new, pretty much. Beautiful. These these folks are meticulous. I mean, every detail: it's the hardwood floor, the 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 kitchen, white kitchen cap uh, cabinets, and beautiful countertops, stainless steel appliances. It's beautiful. Yeah, those countertops are really popular right now, and have a nice little contrast of those really beautiful white uh, cabinets. Very nice and dark floors. Very popular right now. Yeah, beautiful lighting throughout. Um, like I say, these these guys really handled every detail. Uh, it's got a neat mudroom off the garage, three car garage. Uh, Jay, the, the third car bay actually is extra deep. This home was built for the builder, and uh, it's twenty four or twenty four feet deep, and he can park his boat in there. Yeah, garages like that are always in style. Oftentimes, houses like this will sell just on the garage alone. But as we're looking through the inside, they didn't they didn't spare any expense. This is a beautiful master. They didn't, uh, you know, lights on both sides of the of the end of the bed, uh, cabinet color and countertops carry into the master suite here, as you'll see. Uh, literally handled every detail. It's just beautiful. Yeah, so it makes sense that this was made for the builder because you can tell that somebody's really put some craftsmanship into this home. Yep, it's got the uh, square basin case, which is really a craftsman style as well. Um, we saw earlier, it's also got the main floor laundry, so it's 100% main floor living and, uh, you know, really, really well thought out. Yeah, so let's talk about how many bedrooms and baths and how many square feet are we talking about on this home? Five bedrooms, uh, three baths. Uh, it's 3,800 and change, so 3,862, I believe. And uh, in, in the basement, professionally finished basement, uh, lower level here, and it's, uh, you know, it's built for entertaining space. At the other end, you can see it's got the barn door leading into the workout room, and uh, it's just, it's just great. Down, down the lower level, it's got the two bedrooms and a bath. Um, everything, as you can see, even, even the elevation is, uh, it's the tall ceilings. But the elevation is such that some of the, the sunlight really comes in well. 
Yeah, a very beautiful home and well thought out. You know, having a couple rooms down in the basement is so nice. You have guests that come and stay and, you know, a rambler like this with the master bedroom on the main floor is always super desirable. And they, they laid it out really well. Yeah, they sure did. And in the end here, talked about that. Uh, the, it could be either be an office, workout room as they have it, or even another six bedroom if that's what they wanted. Yeah, lots of flexibility, which is always nice. And as we're headed outside, it looks like their backyard is just beautiful. Large, yeah, large uh, covered patio for entertaining. Um, you know, obviously keeps it, you know the weather off. And the landscaping, Jay, is just incredible. They literally thought out every part of the house, every part of the landscape. Um, off to the side, it has plenty of space to actually accommodate and put on a, a detached garage even. Yeah, beautiful property and a really growing area. Francis is real popular right now. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. We have a great property for you this week, Jay. It's a very custom, very upgraded modern home in Hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane is just a little bit, they would consider that just north of St. George, right? Right, yeah, kind of northeast. And it's close to town, but still quiet. You know, this property is within 10 minutes of multiple golf courses, multiple lakes, less than half an hour to Zion National Park. I mean, this home has it all in the perfect location. Yeah, it looks like they got some really cool style and design on this thing. Oh yeah, this thing is upgraded over the top, Jay. Immaculate, it's like new condition, very, very lightly lived in. It's only actually been lived in for a few months. So this home is like brand new and you can see it is upgraded over the top. Yeah, very nice, super clean lines as you can see and, and really nice uh, light fixtures there, I like that. Yes, very custom, has all the designer finishes. I mean, this has everything you want in the home. Yeah, and it looks like it's a Rambler style, so Master's gonna be on the main floor, which is what you gotta have in St. George, right? Exactly, very, very important here. And this home is about 1,900 square feet, all on one level. It's four bed, three bath, on about a quarter of an acre with a, with a three car garage. Yeah, and just perfect uh, amount of bedrooms and baths and still economically priced, which is great. And uh, as we're looking out, it looks like uh, it's, uh, they're, still, uh, they're still working on the yard and stuff, right? Right, this home is so new, it doesn't even have the backyard finished yet. Yeah. So a lot of options there and with how big it is, there's probably room for a pool, a shop, or just a really nice big open backyard, whatever you want to do. It has room and potential for it all. It's got some really cool style. That door is just beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, and looking out, yeah, and, and the yard is great though. I mean, this is, I mean, you're basically getting a brand new house here that you can get into and, and do your own uh, yard work, put your yard in, which is great. So Chase, if somebody wanted more information about this house, how would they reach out to you? They can call us at, excuse me, 435-674-6011 or email us at amesteam at sgremax.com.